Unfortunately, when I have to shout over Islam is supporting scum, it sometimes ruins my throat. Yeah, we got water. We got water for you, Bob. Don't worry. We got water and the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Maybe on a different day when I've got a seat, sit down and enjoy it. All right. So I'm gonna have to talk a bit quieter. If you want to hear me, you're gonna have to listen carefully. I want to talk about. I want to talk about why the churches seem to be irrelevant today. Okay. Okay? Because it is a fact because that the vast the majority life. of English people do see the church as irrelevant. And I want to explain why I think that is the case. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give five theses as to why I think people see the church as irrelevant. Okay. And then I'm going to give five theses as I think what is the best way to deal with that problem. Okay. And after I've done all ten, I'm going to invite anyone who wants to argue yeah, or, or anyone bang. who wants to ask a question to do so. Okay, okay. So I'm asking you to be polite. I'm asking you to wait until I finish all five or ten and then bring your questions. Yeah, that's right. You don't need to remember what I say. Okay. You just need to remember the number. Of the thesis. Of the thesis. Okay, just okay. remember the, the problem number. problem with Bobby. <laughs> and then when you remember no, the number. You've been broke already, bro. Then when you remember when the number. When the government that? of Turkey well, when you has decided to turn. Yeah. When you remember the number. To a mosque. It's too hurting. Because when it you used to be a number. church. Shut up. Don't worry, and don't feed him. he wants to feed him. Don't feed him. He's hurting. Because it's turning into a mosque. He is hurting Are you proud that you blew smoke into a woman's face? Yeah, that's that. Are you proud yeah. that you blew smoke into yeah. a woman's I'm face? I'm talking. Are you proud? So, so who do you want to film, bro? Do you want to film so, him or do you want to film me? Oh. Right, well, well, I'm moving so, this way. Okay, yeah, 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 look, 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 look. When? Fire up, guys. You lose her. And found you want to know most Why don't you come? So, if you want to hear me, come and listen to me. Bye, Luther. You trash. Ciao, trash. Bye, trash. Stay there. So, let's oh, talk Bob. about what. So, oh, if you want to film him. When? Yeah. I guess Sophia okay. gonna turn into a mother. So, why is the church. Bob. Why is the church. But got so hurt. Right? Why is the church irrelevant? That he has to come. Thesis number one. Go on, Bob. And the church talk about is irrelevant church. in most people's because eyes. Because it's so irrelevant. Because in the church society. has reduced Christianity in England. to a ceremony and because rituals. Because so many people oh, yeah, yeah, in England yeah. Yeah, yeah. have lost Too their many faith churches because of Bob the Builder. have just reduced the church to ceremony and rituals. And Bob you go to a used church, to say you go through the mass, people you say the liturgy, come you say prayers, and, learn and then you go away again. Bob the Builder and that's all that we do. Christianity that is that not he wants what the church needs to, to be. Propagate. Thesis number two. If you go to Bob's video, the church he says, has accepted I wish to bring the its position back. simply yeah. as an YouTube. NGO. Don't feed go him. Go on YouTube Don't feed him. and type don't feed Bob the trolls. Wants crusade. Yeah, yeah. He's Don't hurting. feed the trolls. He's hurting. Bob wants crusade. He's hurting because if he's embarrassed. You... So <laughs> the church has yeah, accepted know, 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 know. its role so, solely as an if NGO. You go to YouTube the church and thinks type that its only Bob, role the in society Bob, is to be a charity Bob, to non-Christians. And so Catholic it establishes believer. charities. To that help one Christian, but he ignores that wide aspects of human life his religion that it requires is so to speak into. In today's society, in today's the England, that nobody wants to believe in your the church Christianity. Has no political ambitions. People are becoming for Muslim. Its they, own people. Every day, every hour. The church has so accepted when Bob that it should simply ride the currents at of the politics current situation. of other groups. Because Don't feed the trolls. Yes, yes, he's, he's right. Hurt he's hurt yes. because he's been exposed yeah, yeah, because yeah, he's as an yeah, Islamist yeah. scum because who supports look, ISIS look, yes, right. and who blows smoke yes. oh into God. women's faces. Oh, okay. well, and because he punches <laughs> like a girl. Yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> so, he's right. He says, I'm going to be here. You punch I'm like most, a girl, yes, so. and I'm speaking from direct experience. <laughs> so, from direct when experience, Bob looks so Perfect. at the park. The church and he has allowed that so many Muslims are coming here. Its own political so agenda many Muslim brothers are giving by, by to Islam. the world to dictate Islam. 
what is important to it. So other people are telling the church what is important and, and what is not important. Try to provoke Muslims Thesis in this Thesis number five. Number five. The, the church with compensates that he needs to come down for all of this lacking the unfair through gimmicks of the people of it Britain uses gimmicks because they do not believe to try and in connect with people anymore. because he needs it can't connect question, with people is it on things that, that are of real in a false substance okay. is it and we see the church in replace a real substance which with gimmicks promote we Shit. know Islam is Which growing yes. here in the UK. Yes. Yes. But we know yes. that now, Christianity Islam is growing, is growing. in Saudi Arabia right. and Iran yes. and now. Afghanistan, <laughs> now. where Afghan Mo, yeah, yeah. Go, go. the why ISIS Taliban supporting, blows smoke in Afghanistan? a woman's face yeah, yeah. and punches people <laughs> like a girl <laughs> so, comes from. So, <laughs> so those are the Bob. five thesis <laughs> problems. When Bob looks at so, certain brothers bacha boys, bacha boys. in the park, this is to the Christian so, and they ladies and gentlemen, Islam. it hurts him. We're going to step away from the cloud while I talk it about the response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can listen when to the trash look into yeah, yeah. or you can come and listen to me. With a reason, trash. they accept Islam. Why are you running, bro? Why are you running? Why trash? All right, go on, go on. So, guys. Maybe if you form a tighter circle, guys. <laughs> you know? yeah. It's too late. I oh. needed a bit of water. So, Excuse me, can you move, please? We're having a quiet conversation here. Take it somewhere else. Piss off. Church is open. Does anybody care about your stupid conversation? Church is open. Nobody cares about Take it to church. church. Shut up. Right. Take it to church. So, God, Bob. What is the answer then? What is the answer? What is the answer? What is the answer then? Thesis number one. Okay. It is the idea that these are, this is the response to the problem as I've outlined, right? Thesis number one, Christians have to build on a common set of doctrines, values and history to assert a Christian identity. If we start to assert a Christian identity based on our doctrines and our beliefs and our history, we will be aimed to embed within ourselves social capital upon which to become relevant to people because people will encounter a community of substance. Thesis number two, the church fellowships should reorganize itself to take care of its own community to take care of its own people first, that is, those within the church, those that consider themselves the church. So, the, the, then we will bless others out of our abundance when we first learn to take care of our own people as Christians. Thesis number three, the church must have, as a political vision for its own people, for the Christians, the idea, the, the, the idea that involves defending the rights of Christians that are emergent from the sense of being a people from thesis number one. So because we have doctrines, values and a history, that means we need certain rights, like the right to observe the Sabbath, or the right to not marry homosexuals, or the right not to carry out abortions. And we have to defend those rights actively, both here in this country and abroad in other countries. And we should be committed, therefore, to the re-Christianization of every institution in society to make them Christian. And if that means going against the ethos of not being selective based upon faith, then ignore it, because the liberal progressives do exactly that. So when you have two candidates who are in their skills equally matched, but one is a Christian and one isn't a Christian, promote the Christian. Christian yes. Obviously, if they're not skilled enough, don't. Okay? Christians should stop trying to find ways to unite the church institutionally. It is never going to happen. What we need to do instead is build our sense of unity upon common causes. Common causes like 
defending our identity as Christians, our values and what emerges from those values, our doctrines and what emerges from those doctrines. And we should create organisations that emerge from thesis number three, i.e. the idea of defending our doctrines, our rights, our, our, our beliefs. And where those organisations create unity, we should be open to that fact. And we should allow them to happen and not divide upon any other cause. Thesis number five. The churches must emphasize personal responsibility in all the things that I have mentioned. Don't worry about the hecklers. Yeah, stay with me. Christians must emphasize that it is every Christian's responsibility to embody within themselves that Christian identity and to defend that Christian identity. And we should do that with a theology of martyrdom. We need to recover a theology of martyrdom within the church, which is that this is a cause that is worth standing up for, even if it means that you go to prison or even if it means that you die. Unless we recover a theology of martyrdom, you will not have the emotional mental capacity to see the fight through to the finish. It also has to be rooted in the true theology of sacrifice and of the cross because this battle will require real sacrifice from every single Christian. And without that theology of sacrifice coupled with a theology of martyrdom, you will lose. If you're following a theology of prosperity, you will not win. If you're following a theology of a comfy mattress is my God, you will not win. If you're following a theology that is purely, um, purely about this world and about the things that you gain in this world you will not win you have to see the next world and the riches that you will gain in the next world as being central to the course thank you for your time now is your time for questions uh, or, or we had to discuss any other points thank you Bob so any questions from the audience or if you want to discuss any other thesis or anything related to Santa Sofia maybe so, I shall I go? I'm, I don't know whether to get a drink or whether to. I've got a drink for you. You got a drink for me, okay. And water or tea? Yeah. Uh, water, water, tea. water, please, and then tea later. All right, buddy. Okay. So, you guys all right to listen for another topic? Not boring you? You want to hear another one? Yeah.